Thank you to our new sponsor, Hungry Root, for sponsoring today's video. Okay, you know what can be annoying sometimes? Uh, the grocery store. Sometimes there's a man, I won't say a hero, because what's a hero? But sometimes there's a man, and I'm talking about the dude here. Sometimes there's a man, well, he's the man for his time and place. He fits right in there. And that's the dude in Los Angeles. Enter Hungry Root. Hungry Root is a tech enabled grocery delivery service that's personalized to you. You go on and you take a quiz about your lifestyle, about things you love to eat, things you don't like to eat, and then it personalizes a meal plan for you and then your groceries for the whole week, not just one meal, arrive at your doorstep. So there's snack, breakfast, lunch foods, as well as these 10 minute meals that are super quick. This made it really easy to cook for my family. My problem is I'll go to like three Three grocery stores one thing at Trader Joe's over here one thing at Costco over here one thing at Target over here and then I get home and I have all these groceries and I have nothing to make this has eliminated that problem they give you exactly what you need to make these meals this week we had chicken sausage spinach pizza it was so delicious and so easy every meal took less than 10 minutes okay the first 100 people to use my code popcorn 40 will get 40% off their first hungry root order head to the link in the show notes or just go to hungry root.com and use the code popcorn 40 for 40% 40 off your first grocery order okay -na -na -na. let's do it hello guys hi everyone welcome back to popcorn in bed guess what it's time for we are watching our second james bond movie bond James Ball. Wait, has he, has, he hasn't said that yet. He didn't say that, did he? No, I don't think he did. No. You're right. When does that become the iconic line? Yeah, everyone. So, um, I know this is not. There's a about a. Um, there was a lot of comments on our from Russia with love that were like, no, this isn't the first Bond movie, dummies. <laughs> it's Doctor No. I knew that. I just that wasn't what won the poll. So yeah. we did all the Sean Connery movies and the poll winners were Goldfinger and From, from Russia, Russia with, love. with Love. So we watched From Russia With Love first and now we're watching Goldfinger. Mm -hmm. Next, we're gonna watch the one-off of the next Bond. He just did one. Then we're gonna have another poll. Who's for, the Bond that just did one? I don't know, James Laser, James? Uh, I'm gonna screw it up. <laughs> I don't know, okay, but he just did one. <laughs> oh, embarrassing. You didn't know either. <laughs> you didn't correct me. <laughs> oh, I would have known. <laughs> um, and then, then there's another one. I don't know. There's so many. There's so yes. many. There's a lot of bonds. So this, I know this one is still Sean Connery. So we're, we know what he looks like now. <laughs> Sean we're Connery round two. Here we go. Yeah, we're familiar with him. Do I know anything about the story? Zero, zilch, nothing. I think I was confusing Golden Eye with Goldfinger. Like Golden Eye was the N64 game. Oh yeah, we played. Yeah, I did. We did play that one. Yeah, that so hard because you had to go up, down, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, N64 was not our mm -hmm. console. Mm -hmm. So PlayStation though. Yeah, PlayStation. Crash Bandicoot. PlayStation. Um. Okay. So we're watching Goldfinger with Sean Connery, and then if you want to come vote on this next James Bond after this one offer guy then the next one come on patreon it's right here and if you don't want to that's okay um quick plug on this make sure to come watch our poppy award it's going to be a live event Weird. we're getting glam we are walking a fake red carpet we are awarding ourselves <laughs> it's going to be guest celebrity presenters it's going to be fun wow 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 yeah so march don't 4th, miss it 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Come join us. BYOP. Okay, don't okay. forget to like before the glam. We're in our comfy, co yes. cozy clothes. Hopefully, you're comfy. Then cozy. this is really how we belong. Yes. Like, <laughs> okay, let's watch Bond. remember where we left off. He's um, just back. The specters had been taken down. 
He was back just chilling with the Russian lady, right? <laughs> oh! Okay. <laughs> I think he's already so James Bondy. Yeah. Wow. It's like toothpaste. Yeah. It's funny to see like the old school gadgets. He's <laughs> got a suit ready to go. As one does. Oh. Flower, nice touch. <laughs> oh, some more belly yeah. dancing, of course. <laughs> Rolex product placement. Oh, shoot. You could look alarmed there, Bond. Don't go back to your hotel, senor. They'll be watching you. There's a plane leaving for Miami in an hour. I'll be on it. But uh, Miami? I was just there. Any business to attend to. What? This the dancer? Yeah. Does he know her? How'd this happen? Was she in his room or have we met before? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you always wear that thing? Okay. I have a slight inferiority complex. Oh, shoot. Say something. Oh, this girl's the worst. <gasps> oh. Oh. Okay. You gotta get a punch in there. Oh, there you go. That's yep, there it is. One arm yeah. over the back. Oh, shoot. <gasps> that was such quick thinking, but also that was wow. Okay. Gross. Yeah. Positively shocking. So she's a bad guy. Yeah. She played him like a fiddle. Positively shocking. Gold finger. The man with the Midas touch. <laughs> the name. Yeah. I know. Do so we think Goldfinger is a person? Or um, a treasure? Mm. Or a weapon? It's kind of funny how like these franchises, even Batman and whatever, mm -hmm. they just like every one couple of years like and a new person yeah. is Batman. <laughs> and, and it's just like normal we shall continue. But it's not like all of a sudden they get like redo the Iron Man, it's the new Iron Man. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it is funny. But, and like Mission Impossible, it's just always, always Tom. Tom. Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. I think it's hard not to compare. Because we just watched all the Mission Impossibles. And they're obviously yeah. so much more recent. So obviously I want this, like, like the action scenes yes. and the gadgets and like, But, um, yeah. we can't or else right. we'll be disappointed because... Mm -hmm. I think it said this was 64, 1964. Oh, really? I've never been to Florida. That was your first time, Yeah, that was my right? first time. Mm -hmm. I really want to go to Disney World. Yeah, that is shocking for you haven't been. <laughs> right? That's nice. Very nice. Just here. I thought I'd find you in good hands. Felix. <laughs> He's such a playboy. I know. Felix Leiter. Dink. Hello? Felix, say hello to Dink. <laughs> Hi, Dink. Uh, man talk. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> Anymore you're not. Signal from London. He asked us to keep an eye on him for you. Or a goldfinger. Sounds like a French nail varnish. He's British, but he doesn't sound like it. Person. And where do I find him? Please tell me he's wearing a romper. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he is. This is Goldfinger? I think so. Ready for a little game? Sure, I'm ready. Could I have my usual seat? That Goldfinger's a fabulous guy. No, he's player. cheating. Let's double it. Five dollars a point. My luck's got to change sometime. He's wearing a romper. It's a romper. Yeah. I think I would wear that romper. Yeah, it's cute. Like a terry towel. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> soon. What do we think the thing in his ear is? I mean, he turned it up like it was like a hearing device. Oh. I felt like he did when he was like, oh, four. Oh, I'm, like, oh, I'm dead. Would you... That's Mr. Goldfinger's sweet. You're very sweet. <laughs> She's like, oh. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> totally cheating. That last draw was the eight of hearts. Kings and queens. Who are you? Bond. James Bond. Yes, we got it. Ah, that's more like it. What are they playing? What's your name? Go fish. <laughs> Why does he do it? He likes to win. Why do you do it? He pays me. Is that all he pays you for? And for being seen with him. Just seen? Just seen. I'm so glad. 
Now, hear this, Goldfinger. Your luck has just changed. I doubt very much if the Miami Beach police would take kindly to what you're doing. Nod your head if you agree. Keep it. Now start losing, Goldfinger. Let's make it 15,000. Well, I can see this is really my day. Jen. Jen. Oh. Have you ever played that? Uh-uh. It's an old people game, I think. Whoops. Over and out. I'm beginning to like you, Mr. Bond, more than anyone I've met in a long time. Well, what on earth are we going to do about it? Yes, what? I'll tell you at dinner. Where? Well, I know the best place in town. What happened to Dink? Yeah. See ya, Dink. Just as easy as that, <laughs> folks. You just... And just like that. Oh, my gosh. She's not worried that he, like, somehow got into the room. Man, <laughs> like... Hello. Oh, Felix. Well, no. Look, no, no, look, I'm sorry. I can't. Uh, how about breakfast? Okay. Not too early. I'll call you around nine. Oh, it's, <laughs> oh, it's lost its chill. Why? Sure. Oh, there's another in the fridge. No. <gasps> Not again. Oh, shoot. Oh. Uh-oh. So did he get played by another woman? Two in a row, James? You gotta learn know. how to read him a little better. Or is she in big trouble? Oh, yeah. Is she being, like, held hostage? Jill? <gasps> Uh, is she dead? And that's his like sign. That would be gross and disturbing, and seven nine four three two, room one one nine. Do you like spray paint her? Hello, Felix. Get over here right away. The girl's dead. She's covered in paint, gold paint. Oh boy. She died of skin suffocation. It's been known to happen to cabaret dancers. Some will obviously didn't. And I know who. This isn't a personal vendetta, 007. It's an assignment like any other. But if you can't treat it as such coldly and objectively, the 008 can replace it. Skin suffocation? Yeah, I don't think that's a real thing. Sir, I'm aware of my shortcomings, but I'm prepared to continue this assignment in the spirit you suggest, if I knew what it was about. What do you know about gold? I know it when I see it. Meet me here at seven. Black tie. Hey, I was wondering if like, there hadn't been much like MI6 right. kind of thing, but we're finally getting to see what the headquarters a little. Money penny. Oh yeah, I remember her. Well, what about tonight? You come around for dinner, and I'll cook you a beautiful angel cake. Fortunately, I do have a business appointment. Who is she, James? She is me, Miss Money Penny. Money Penny, won't you ever believe me? Every woman just can't resist. I him. know. <laughs> Constantly, we are vitally concerned with unauthorized leakages. I take it you mean smuggling. Yes. Gold, gentlemen, which can be melted down and recast, is virtually untraceable, attracting the biggest and most ingenious criminals. Gentlemen, Mr. Goldfinger has gold bullion on deposit in Zurich, Amsterdam, Caracas, and Hong Kong, worth 20 million pounds. Well, why move it? Because the price of gold varies from country to country. We have failed to discover how he transfers his gold overseas. I think it's time Mr. Goldfinger and I met. I need some sort of bait. This is the only one we have. Mr. Bond can make whatever use of it he thinks fit, providing he returns it, of course. It's, uh... Goldfinger knows who Bond is, right? And what he looks like. He saw him lying on the floor. Yeah. yeah. He can't, like... Yeah, that's true. But maybe if he does it in, like, a disguise. Or, oh, yeah, the face. Yeah. This way, please. Sir Gadget Guy. Yeah. You'll be using this Aston Martin, DB... Ah, the Aston Martin. You know what that is? James Bond always drives an Aston Martin. It's like a really, really nice car. Oh, really? Uh huh. Revolving number plates naturally. Here's naturally. A nice transmitting device. You prime it by pressing that back like this. The smaller model is now standard field issue, fitted into the heel of your shoe. To be concealed in the car you're trailing while you keep out of sight. Auto visual range 150 miles. You see the gear leader here? Now, if you yes. take the top off, you'll find a little red button. Rocket launcher. Whatever you do, don't touch it, because you'll release this section of the roof and engage and fire the passenger ejector seat. Ejector seat? You're joking. I never joke about my work, double <laughs> I believe that. Thank you. <laughs> There's an old member dropped by, sir. Same handicap as yours. I wondered if you'd rather play with him. Uh, Mr. Bond. Oh. Yes. How'd you do? But I don't think it was actually Goldfinger who oh. hit him. Shall we make it a shilling a hole? Mm-hmm. Oh, you must excuse our job, Mr. Bond. He's an admirable man servant, but mute. 
Nice pat. What's your game, Mr. Bar? You didn't come here to play golf. The 1940s melt from the Weigener foundry, yes? And you have access to more? Yes, from the same source. Bond actually looks pretty good in that yeah. golf outfit. <laughs> what do you have in mind? The bar of gold you have with you. It's worth 5,000 pounds. Oh, I'll stake the cash equivalent. <laughs> oh, you want us to bet it? Um, mm -hmm. Ooh, a little more Is nervous about this drive. But of course. Can't talk during this backswing. Right. Dang. Is that good? Nice shot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right down the fairway. I think he's going to match it perfect. I feel like he's going to cheat somehow. Bad luck, you're in the rough. Finding the ball is the worst part. Here it is. No, it's not. He plays a Slazenger one. Five minutes are almost up. The lost ball will cost you stroke and distance. They're going to find his ball miraculously. Ah, ah. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, right. If that's his original ball, I'm Arnold Palmer. It isn't. How do you know? I'm standing on it. <laughs> Why, you crafty old... <laughs> Let's have a little fun with Mr. Goldfinger. This for the half. That's right. Oh, wow. Just no warm up. Boom. One to go. That'll be the clincher. All right. Did you switch him, sir? Uh huh. And we've got him. I don't get it. Maybe so they can't find the ball or something this time because it'll be the wrong one. Start in five. I have to sink this to half the game, right? I'm like nervous for him. <laughs> It seems I'm too good for you. You play a Slicinger 1, don't you? Yes, why? This is a Slicinger 7. Here's my pen pulled hearts. You must have played the wrong ball somewhere on the 18th fairway. We are playing strict rules, so I'm afraid you lose the hole and the match. Got him. <laughs> yes. You are a clever, resourceful man, Mr. Bond. I should think our first meeting would have convinced you. So he definitely knows. Many people have tried to involve themselves in my affairs, unsuccessfully. Is that a threat? Was that like a show of force? Yeah, I think so. Okay, that's impossible. <laughs> Dang, odd job. Sneak, sneaky. I've got you booked out on the next flight to Geneva, leaving in half an hour. I can't believe they put these cars on an airplane. All right, she's got a need for speed. And James accepts well, the yeah, challenge. Are we on a cliff? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> but he is intrigued. <laughs> And who's watching him? Oh, what? her! What? Was that all planned? They knew he was following them? Yeah. I feel like she knows she missed, but the other two think he was hit. Oh, shoot. Why does he look like he's into this? I know. <laughs> he's like, yes, my kind of woman <laughs> tried to kill me. Oh, shoot. Oh, this is not on a cliff anymore. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> you know you're lucky to be alive. No thanks to you. You should have pulled over further. Look at them. A double blowout. I've never seen one of these before. Defect of some kind, most likely. Anyway, I'm so glad it's only the car and not you. Please take me to the nearest garage. By the way, my name is Bond. Um, you... As quickly as possible. They're not going to acknowledge the fact that she just tried to shoot him? Or... I'll take that. He must know, like assume. Yeah, he knows. Right? Yeah. Right. But she must not know that he knows. What's your name, by the way? Soames. Tilly Soames. Here for the hunting season. I had a case just like that one. It's for my ice skates. Lovely sport. Where do you skate? St. Moritz. I didn't know there was ice there this time of the year. There's a garage. They say it'll take 24 hours to get new tires. There's a hotel nearby. Oh, jump in or run you down. I can take care of myself. Well... Don't forget to write. 
five bucks, he's gonna bed her before the end of the yeah. movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They're melting the gold. That's how they're getting it across these. Remember they said they couldn't figure out how they're getting it off? Yeah. Is it her? Yes, it is. Oh, shoot. Go, you're breaking my back. I want to kill him. Goldfinger. Daddy got my sister. I knew your sister, Jill. I know what he did to her in Miami. No, you don't. Let me go. If you wanted to kill him, why did you shoot at me? I was shooting at him. Well, you're a lousy shot. Come on. Oh, interesting. So why did Odd Job smile like they had it all planned? I don't know. It, is she just some random person? Like, I mean, she's the sister, yeah. but is she is she like a spy or is I, she's yeah. just like a I sister? Mean, that's just gonna follow it on the fight. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Oh shoot! Thank you, Mr. Q. Yes. Oil slick. Oh yeah, you got a lot of tricks. Hey, there you go. Shoot. <gasps> oh, oh, that was so much. That was more extreme. Yeah, that, uh, than I was expecting. Escalated very quickly. Yeah. Another. I like how he's so calm. Yeah. He's like, ah, just another day in the life. No? Does this Are you have a knife on her? kidding me? Is she okay? Is she... Is she dead? I think so. He killed her with a hat? Oh wait, maybe not. He can't be dead. What in the world? I mean, maybe he just knocked her out? I don't buy that. They're just gonna let him drive his own car back? He ejects the passenger seat. Handy. Seriously. Oh my gosh. Not her. Uh, that's unexpected. Oh, wow. We need more tricks. A little game of chicken. Oh. Oh. What happened there, though? Oh. Oh boy. Oh, I hate torture. Please don't torture. It's totally a torture table. And members of your curious profession are few in number. You have been recognized. Let's say by one of your opposite numbers, who is also licensed to kill. I do have a new toy, but considerably more practical. You are looking at an industrial laser. Oh, boy. It can project a spot on the moon, or at closer range, through solid metal. How do we get out of this one? I don't know. This is gold, Mr. Bond. All my life I've been in love with its color. I welcome any enterprise that will increase my stock. I think you've made your point, Goldfinger. Thank you for the demonstration. Choose your next witticism carefully, Mr. Bond. It may be your last. The purpose of our two previous encounters is now very clear. I do not intend to be distracted by another. Good night, Mr. Bond. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. Uh... Are you forgetting one thing? If I fail to report, 008 replaces me. I trust he will be more successful. But well, he knows what I know. You know nothing, Mr. Bond. Operation Grand Slam, for instance. Have we heard of Operation Grand Slam? Yeah, Grand he Slam? talked about it with that guy when they were talking about the- The car doing the cars. The uh, okay. I immediately thought of Denny's Grand Slam. Oh. That's how I remember. <laughs> Ooh, shoot. You are quite right, Mr. Bond. You are worth more to me alive. Tranquilizer, perhaps? Yeah, must have been. 
I feel like Goldfinger is winning. Yeah, seriously. He's been ahead of him. That... Is that Jill? It My looks like her. Dear oh, heavens. goodness. I must be dreaming. <laughs> I thought I'd wake up dead. Tranquilize again. Knock out shot. Yep, yep, yep. I'm delighted to be here. You meet right away with the charm. <laughs> 35,000 feet, flying southwest over Newfoundland. Hey, Canada. <laughs> join Mr. Goldfinger's Lockheed Jetstar heading for Baltimore. Well, won't you join me? I'm Mr. Goldfinger's personal pilot. And uh, just how personal is that? I'm a damn good pilot, period. Well, that's good news. Why? Is, I don't get it. I know. This how he treats all of his hostages? Oh, yes, to Operation Grand Slam. This should be a memorable flight. You can turn off the charm. I'm immune. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to arrive more uh, appropriately dressed. Did any of my uh, luggage survive with me? And, uh... My attache case. Black attache case damage when examined. So sorry. He went from almost killing him with a laser. Flying him in his private jet? Like, not handcuffed, not... Wow, lots of ways to spy. the gadgets so that they can track him i think so yeah because it was connected to the one that he put in his car we'll be landing in 20 minutes do you want to play it easy or the hard way that's a smith and wesson 45. if you fire at this close range the bullet will pass through me and the fuselage like a blowtorch through butter the cabin will depressurize and we'll both be sucked into outer space together oh besides there's always so much going on around mr go i wouldn't dream of not accepting his uh, hospitality He'll be very glad to see you, too. About 007, sir. We picked up his Homer signal. It's monitored into Friendship Airport, Baltimore, where he's... He came in on a private jet, ex-Geneva, registered to our old friend, Oric Goldfinger. Don't charge in on him and spoil anything, will you? He's evidently well on top at the moment. Do <laughs> mind yourself, Captain. Just keep playing it easy. Talented chaps. They should be. I trained them. You're a woman of many parts, Pussy. Well, now that we're both off duty, perhaps. I thought you always took your hat off to a lady. You know, he kills little girls like you. Little boys, too. Hmm. Interesting. We need someone to turn on Goldfinger. Yeah. Final briefing tonight. That'll be all for now. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, all of it. <laughs> yeah. I like how he always just kind of has a smug little. Yeah, uh huh. He's still not scared. He's fine. Show Mr. Bond to his quarters, please. But he still hasn't really reported, I mean, because of the signal, I guess, but like. Yeah. So what of 008? Yeah, because that was his whole... Yeah, but they didn't know where he was anyways. <laughs> but they do now. Maybe we should just drop in on him. He'll shout if he needs us. Goldfinger, why weren't we told that New York and the West Coast were in on this? I thought we had a private business deal to set. Where is my money? You all <laughs> made the deliveries we contracted. And you owe me one million bucks. I owe each of you a million in gold bullion. So pay. You can have the million today. Or ten millions tomorrow. As soon as my bank opens in the morning. Oh, oh shoot. He's got What's gadgets too. Hey, cover those doors. Turn those lights back on. What are you trying to pull? These oh, mobsters are. This is my bank. The gold depository at Fort Knox, gentlemen. Fifteen billion dollars. Billion? The entire gold supply. You got a key or something? There are 35,000 troops stationed around there. 41,000. And who's going to say boo to them, Goldfinger? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Quite the presentation. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> oh, my. You thought I just wanted to show you a picture of it? No. Achieve miracles in every field of human endeavor. Ex 
Sack Prime. It's like the original oceans. Like, <laughs> I think he thinks his guys are coming for him. Fall for it. <laughs> How do you get up there? If I you know. Went down? Yeah, you must have gone to the side and then yeah. up. Versus 15 minutes, the flying circus of my personal pilot, Miss Pussy Galore, Spray. will approach Fort Knox, this fence surrounding the depository is electrified. It will be dynamited. My task force will then move to the main entrance. All that will then remain is to descend to the vault. I'll take my money now. What's the matter, Solo? Too big for you to handle? Gentlemen, we must respect Mr. Solo's decision. Please excuse me for a few minutes while I take care of him. Okay. So he had them each smuggle something for the plan to break into Fort Knox, which includes spraying chemicals in the air to knock out people for 24 hours. <gasps> Who is it? Why does he say it like that? <laughs> the gun you took. The gun, of course. Pussy. <laughs> And he's like, oh my gosh, it's you. Oh shoot, the gas. What was the point in telling him all that then? I don't know. Maybe the only one that was actually in on it was Mr. Solo? Ah, oh, Mr. Bond, I thought you were resting in your quarter. Leaving us so soon, Mr. Solo. Unfortunately, he has a pressing engagement. Yeah. My plane will get you to New York on time. With your excess luggage. That's the note he wrote? Yeah. With the homing Have city. we seen him before? I found him under the model. Operation Grand Slam. I did enjoy your briefing. So did I. And why would he give it to that guy? Oh, so they can. He's on the move. So maybe we don't know Mr. Solo, but he would know they'd intercept him and find right. the message. Are you blind or something? You missed a turn. Oh. Uh-oh, Mr. Solo. You might be getting the hat trick. Get it, hat trick. Get Third it. kill. Oh. Hat. Trick. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So evil. Yeah. Oh, no. Is the guy in there still? Yeah. We need the body. We need the note. Hey, drop off the car. Leave it for four seconds. And well, we'll, they probably have it planned. Oh, okay. <laughs> But where is he? Oh yeah, the body's not in there anymore. Okay. Oh. Wow! He did it. It's a waste of a nice car. Oh. Wow. Does it really go that small? Oh my gosh. Wow! Okay. Is our Homer device still doing it though? Dead. Dang it. Failure, maybe. Drive to the farm, it's all we can do. Right. Shoot! Dang it. Your share of Operation Grand Slam will make you a very rich woman, my dear. Why else would I be in it, Mr. Goldfinger? Two men in a car with binoculars. Kish asked Mr. Bond to join us. You're quite right to spare Mr. Bond's life in Switzerland if those gentlemen hmm. are his friends. Let's convince them he needs no assistance. Okay, okay, okay. Let's make him as happy as possible. I suggest you change it to something more suitable. Ugh, yeah. Oh, he's gonna think they got his note. He wants you. Did 
down, please. Mince julep. Or he's not even gonna know they're there. Yeah, I know. And they're gonna be like, he's fine, we'll yeah. leave. You know Operation Grand Slam simply won't work. I've worked out a few statistics of my own. Fifteen billion dollars in gold bullion. Weighs 10,500 tons. 60 men would take 12 days to load it onto 200 trucks. Now, at the most, you're going to have two hours before the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines move in and make you put it back. Who mentioned anything about removing it? You plan to break into the world's largest bank, not to steal anything. Why? Mr. Ling, the red Chinese agent at the factory, specialist in nuclear fission. But of course... What? Tell this us. government's given you a bomb. I prefer to call it an atomic device. It's small, but particularly dirty. Exploded in Fort Knox. The entire gold supply of the United States will be radioactive for 57 years. 58 to be exact. So then his gold will be worth Gold-in. more? Or... And the value of your gold increases many times. Brilliant. But the uh, atomic device, as you call it, is already obviously in this country. But bringing it to Fort Knox uh, undetected could be risky. The risk is all on your side. If the authorities should attempt to locate it, who knows where it might be exploded, eh? Operation Grand Slam will be successful. You will be there to see for yourself. Oh, shoot. Please entertain Mr. Bond for me, pussy. How about it, handsome? Well, the new Miss Galore. Where do you hide your gold knuckles in this outfit? Don't fall for it, James. Come on. I want him to spot them. Yeah, seriously. Give him a spy sign. Yeah. That's my James. Too bad it all has to end tomorrow morning. He's quite mad, you know. Well, now, what do we have here? 007 seems to have the situation well in hand. No. No. What would it take for you to see things my way? A lot more than you've got. You've asked for this. <laughs> Get up. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Saw that one coming. Now let's both play. They're gonna start making out, aren't they? Please no. He's literally she's strangling him. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> oh my gosh. Commence spray on countdown. Three, two, zero. Five and one. And they're gonna put everyone to sleep and then bomb it? <laughs> yeah. Bomb it from the inside, I'm guessing. Oh my gosh. They're gonna kill everyone? That works quickly. Seriously. This is a bit ridiculous. Yeah. Don't we think one person was inside maybe and like not dead now? very interesting. I don't... So what happened with him and Pussy? Wake up. I just want them all to wake up. Is that... Yeah. This is the dynamite. Yep. Everyone's dead and that's the only way they could open the gate. It's fine, it's fine. I still, no plot holes, no plot holes. I'm still not believing that all those people are dead. I, I know, I don't want to believe that. that part either. Is this the laser? What's he gonna do? I don't know. Bond cannot take on all these people, especially Seriously. when he's handcuffed to Boohoo. Gosh, someone's got to turn on Mr. Goldfinger. This is the bomb? Oh boy. He doesn't think anyone will figure out he did this? Right. And like... And like become the number one wanted person in the world? Not to uh, mention like his gold will be completely useless because it'll be like marked. You know what yeah, I mean? Like... Yeah. <sighs> Let's get moving, Brigadier. Right, Jack. Move in. <gasps> Minimum offensive fire until a signal bomb has been neutralized. Pussy did turn good. It was fake gas. So they all just pretended? I think so. So is Bond going to be the one to neutralize it? Goodbye, Mr. Bond. 
I hope they show us the backstory of how he got the mm-hmm. story out and mm-hmm. and how his prowess and irresistibility <laughs> saved the world. Yes, <laughs> it wasn't his. <laughs> it was just it his ex spy skills. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh no. <gasps> no. <gasps> no, don't let him get away with that. Oh gosh. He just had this costume ready to go? Dang. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. No, 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 no. Well, what, what does he see? The key, maybe? Oh, oh frick, he's gonna try and use his hat. <gasps> oh! Duck! Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. Comes down to this. Prowess can't get you out of this one. Heads up, he's got the frisbee hat these, back. You and these puns. <laughs> uh. This guy weirds me out. Yeah, seriously. He's like, he's like a Terminator. Yeah. What? I feel like we've tried this before, Bond. Yeah. He crushed a golf ball. We gotta, we yeah. gotta do something else. He broke your like steel <laughs> yeah. bat thing. <gasps> oh boy. That mm. seemed like a kidney. Okay, use that. Or throw his hat at him. Yeah. What does he know about his hat that we don't? Yeah. I thought it was just like a really, he was really good at throwing it. Now burn him. That trick worked out twice for him. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, okay, okay. Oh boy. And I think we're letting Goldfinger get away. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. We gotta try something else here. <gasps> no. Why? You're gonna die too! Yes! Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, shoot! Do we have a gadget? He feels not very sure. We're at 10, 9, okay, 13, 12. Does anyone have a plan? Yep, just let's yank it. Okay. <gasps> Double oh, seven. Three more ticks, Mr. Goldfinger would have hit the jackpot. Did you get him? Not yet, but he won't get far. Who's she? She hopped to switch the gas in the canisters. Wait, what made her call Washington? Oh, I you don't know. know. Maternal instincts. <laughs> but you can't keep the president waiting. Who plane, lunch at the White House. How come? The president wants to thank you personally. Oh, it was nothing, really. I told the stewardess, liquor for three. For the other two. Oh, there are no other two. Goodbye, Felix. So long, James. Good luck. <laughs> thank you, Brigadier. Wait, Goldfinger's still out there. I know. <gasps> oh, congratulations on your uh, promotion, Goldfinger. Are you having lunch at the White House, too? You have interfered with my plans for the last time, Mr. Bond. He was planning that for 15 years. Okay. He's raging. Yeah. yeah. To be at the controls. <gasps> Bam! Boom! You're not made of iron like your friend. Oh, shoot! Oh, no. Yep. Oh gosh. Oh shoot. Parachutes? Yeah. Uh, Can you eject from this one? Niner, Niner. Wait, was there another dot that split off? Did they parachute? Yes, they did. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm dead. <young. laughs> He's like, but first. <laughs> All right. Bond, Goldfinger, check. Yeah, seriously. Well, okay, I gotta admit, I was like feeling Sean Connery. Yeah. Uh -huh. He was like looking pretty fine. I know, he did look good. <laughs> Clearly. No woman <laughs> can the resist. the world with his swagger. Oh, oh my gosh. This one was interesting. It yeah. definitely had a different feel. Yes. It did actually like have more of like what I expect for this like James Bond totally. feel. Yes. A little bit. So I feel like they were kind of like finding their 
right room for sex. Okay, here's my question. To me, the little like one-liners and like some of the little, even like him going out the window at the end. I'm like, is this supposed to be funny? Yeah. Or is that like back in the time? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's almost like, because now sometimes movies do that to like give you like a nod to the ridiculousness. Almost. Yeah. But I don't know if they were doing that in the 60s. Yeah, that's you know very I mean? true. Uh huh. Yeah, like some of the parts you're like, like I'm trying not to poke holes in the plot, you know? But right. Like, okay. And yeah, I'm curious how they walked out. I was like, that like, was the craziest action movie because everything right. was new, right? right? Like, yeah, a lot of these action things. It's like, whoa, look what they could do. Right. And they cracked one in the plane. But yeah, or is it like supposed to be kind of give you a laugh? Yeah, I don't know. But like, if you saw that. But we've been yeah. wrong about this before. So True. <laughs> I don't know. True. Um, but I actually liked like the whole like he was like this classic, uh, almost like cartoonish bad guy. Yeah. And mm -hmm. James Bond was everything we need, and yeah, the hero. But, but was, like he killed those two sisters, and I needed like more. Yes. Like redemption yeah. for them. Seriously, that was like cold. I know. Yeah, that was that was bad. I'm glad all those worker guys didn't die, but great acting. I on know. Their part. Yeah, yeah. I know. We're like, how can this be? <laughs> I know. Um, it was like so instant <laughs> too. Know. They played us like a fiddle. Yeah, they, yeah. Did. they really did. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, I was definitely entertained. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. yeah it's kind of like a, maybe because of those parts too, it makes it like not as. Oh my gosh, intense and it's just kind of like fun, entertaining, right. but still like action and intriguing. We have to like put our mindset back in the 60s or yes. else uh -huh. it is like, oh, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Some parts, but mm. at the same time, you're right. Like that felt like James Bondy. And I don't even know what that is, but it just yeah. felt like it. No, I'm good. <laughs> okay, that was, You're right. that was fun. We are on the journey. James Bond, here okay. we go. Okay, Two down. You. Yep, thank a lot you. to go. Thank you so much for watching along with us. Good night.